Hello my amazing people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, I want to show you how to add an Instagram feed to your Elementor website without having to go through the hectic process of generating and getting an access token that you have to add to your Elementor website. I say that because recently I created this tutorial on how we can create an Instagram access token for your Elementor website and be able to use the Instagram feed widget in your website, which you guys have actually liked so much However, I realize that actually some of you are having issues on generating this access token because it involves a lot of process having to go into your uh, Facebook, creating an app and all that stuff. So I found out that actually the premium add-ons for Elementor, the pro version actually has a pretty awesome Instagram feed that doesn't require you to go through the process of creating the app and all that stuff in Facebook but it does literally everything for you automatically. And the good thing is that they keep bringing new updates whenever there are any changes to the API from Instagram. So in this video, I want to show you exactly how you can add that Instagram feed just like this and how you can customize a couple of things. Or you can as well add another Instagram feed that looks just like this over here whereby it's only one column and you have a carousel. Someone is able to share these images on their social media platforms and as well having a lot more other customization updates Abilities. As well, I'll show you how to add another carousel that looks just like this over here with a lot more other customization features and also how you can customize your navigation buttons over here and a lot more. So let's jump straight into the video and I take you through how you can achieve something like this. So the first thing you have to do is to have the premium add-ons for Elementor, the pro version, because the Instagram feed widget comes only in the pro version of premium add-ons for Elementor. And then you'll have to simply come over here to widgets and head straight to the widgets area and make sure that the Instagram feed widget is activated so you'll be able to access it in your widgets area in Elementor. So I'll simply just come over here to the social widgets and make sure that my Instagram feed widget is active. It should be in green, simply scroll down and then save changes. Then you simply have to come back to your Elementor canvas over here and then, and then search for Instagram. Then you're going to simply drag that widget into your canvas. So I'll drag it over here. Now, once you have it added over here, then you're going to simply say login with Facebook. Once you click over here, this will bring up a pop-up that will prompt you to accept premium add-ons for Elementor to access your Facebook account at the same time your Instagram account so that you are able to actually echo in the content from your Instagram feed. Once that is done, then you'll have this token generated inside your Elementor website. The process takes about one or two minutes and then you are done. Once you are done, then you'll be able to start customizing your Instagram feed just like this over here. When I come down here to queries, I can filter my Instagram content by hashtags. So in the case where I have my content on Instagram and I use specific hashtags to list my content or to post my content, I can simply enter those hashtags over here separated by a comma and that is what will show up over here in the feed. And unfortunately, I rarely use hashtags on Instagram, so I'm unable to use that feature over right here. So I can as well enable redirection. Once someone clicks on any of the photos or images over here, they'll be redirected straight to Instagram. If that is not the option, you can enable a light box, just like I showed you over here when someone clicks on this image or any of the images over here, it opens up in a light box. Anyway, back into our editor, Let's look into the layout features. You can enable a mesonary layout. You can select the height of the images. For example, if you select like 300, that will be a shorter image size, just like you see over there in the preview. If you make it like 500, it will be a taller image size. I prefer to leave it 400. And then the hover image effect, this is what that means. For example, when someone comes and hovers over here, you see these images kind of changes the color, the same for this and the same for this, and kind of scales. Or rotates in one or the other so that is done over here it is scaled and then also under style i gave for the photo box i gave it a css filter which is 30 percent of the saturation that's why when someone hovers over any of the images over here it is showing 30 percent of the image saturation or the color let me first do an update over here to have a good preview of this feed so the question is how do you add this padding or margin between the images? You simply come back over here to your editor, select your widget, the Instagram widget, then you come to here to style, then under style you are going to add a margin of 5. So in this case 
let me say if I added 10, you realize the space now is bigger. If I put two, that's how small it will be. So five will do me well. The same applies to the padding. So let's move into the next section, which you see over right here. So this is actually a single column section. When you look over here in the layout, I simply made it to be a one column section. And then I made the image height to be 400. You can make it any height that you want. So I'll leave it to be 400. I made it to be a carousel and came over right here to the carousel options, then worked on my arrows. You see the ones over here. I gave them a background color of white and they gave and I also gave the arrows to be green. Then I made the arrow size to be a little bit bigger. So something like that. So they appear kind of they are floating out on the shape. So that's how I made it. So 60 was good enough for me. And for the share icon or the share option down below here, I made the background color green. And then over here, increase the size of the icon. Let me say if we make it 60 or 50, that's how it will look like. 30 works well for me. Then style up the text over here by coming over here to the text color, change it to the color I want. And that's how it looks like currently. Come over here to queries and make sure that you enable the share button. If it's not enabled, obviously it will not appear right over here on the image. That's how I would have it if it's not enabled. So I'll enable the share button. I could make that when I hover over the color, it turns from grayscale to a colored image. So how do I do that? I simply come back here to the content, come straight here to the layout and hover image effect. I turn that to grayscale. That's how it looks like this. Now when I hover over the image, it turns back to color. You can as well select from any of these other hover effects down below here. Then the other thing I did was to select the column and give that column a background color of white. So by coming over here to the color, then select the color that you want, then you are good to go. Then down below here, we have another awesome option, which is the carousel having three columns with a profile header. Currently, there are some issues with fetching the profile data from Instagram because of the API changes and actually the premium add-ons for Elementor, they are already aware of this issue. And the problem is that the Instagram API that pulls in the user data to be used in the profile header was depreciated. So they're actually trying to find an alternative to pull this data in the profile header. And we're back over here. So when we select this widget over here, we come down here to queries. We wanted to show the share button, which is enabled down below here. And under the layout option, we wanted three columns and having a zoom in effect. When I hover over these images, they all zoom in. For the carousel option, we enable the carousel and it's on autoplay. That's why when we come even over here, you realize that this widget or this content over here auto plays all the time. Back into our editor or our canvas, you can set the animation speed and also you can enable the profile header. The profile header is whatever should appear in here. And in this case, you should be able to pull up your Instagram logo, which is this over here. At the same time, the user picture, the username, and in case you are verified on Instagram, that should appear. That should also appear right over here. But currently there are some issues like I've mentioned earlier. Anyway, anytime soon they have this fixed, I would make an updated video or mention it down in the description box below or somewhere in the pinned comment. But anyway, the rest of the things beside enabling the profile header, if I disable it over right here, this disappears automatically, just like this. And then you can actually enable that whenever someone clicks on any of these images, they are redirected to your Instagram account. So how do you do that? By simply coming over here to the queries and make sure that you enable redirection. Maybe I can take you through how I managed to add this border over here and also how to make some styling to the share options down below there. So coming over here to the style, so the photo box, so uh, I gave it a border of four on top and a border of four on the left. That's why you see we have white both sides. And when you look over on this image, there is no border because we did give a border on the right hand side, all right? When we come down below here to the share button, we realize that we give the icon color blue and text to be this over here, which is a magenta or red or pink, whatever you want to call it. So that's how it looks like currently. Then also uh, increase the icon size and as well you can add um, some spacing between the icon and the word share itself. In a nutshell, that's how you can add an Instagram feed using the premium add-ons for Elementor widget for Instagram. And you simply just have to click one button, connect your Instagram account with your Elementor website, and then you'll be able to echo up this data in your Elementor website using the premium add-ons for Elementor. 
anyway so in case you have any questions or comments regarding this tutorial please let me know down in the comment box below otherwise if you're new to the channel and you like this video please give it a like also subscribe because that actually helps me out have a good time and goodbye